is up Kryptonians? Sorry that this video is coming so late. It's been kind of a crazy month and a half since the last time I did a video. I want to get caught up on a lot of the movies that I saw while I was away and didn't get a chance to review. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe so that you can see more goofy shit from me. Without further ado, let's talk about Shazam! Fury of the Gods, a movie that is already out on digital and it's only been out for like a month now. Which is kind of crazy. Fury of the Gods is a sequel to Shazam, which came out in 2019, the follow-up to that movie. It's set within what was, is, used to be the DCEU. The DCEU is, of course, ending in a few months, and I guess this movie technically still takes place in that universe. This movie also stars Zachary Levi and Asher Angel and Rachel Zegler, Zegler? I can't remember her last name. Lucy Liu and Helen Mirren and, you know, the usual, the same cast that you saw from the first movie. The story here is pretty simple. It takes place a couple of years after the first one. Billy is now, I think, a senior in high school, and big change is coming for him and the rest of his family. While everything is changing, he's trying to keep things together. He's trying to keep things the same as a superhero team. They're like flying around Philadelphia, you know, saving the day, being heroes. And these two pissed off goddesses from another magical world come to Earth and they're like, hey, you guys stole the powers that belong to our father or ancestors or something. Yeah, and we want that magic back. And to do it, we're gonna destroy Earth to get the magic back. And that's essentially the crux of the story. I'm gonna try to keep things vague while I talk about the positives and negatives, but I am gonna have some mild spoilers. This movie has been out for a month and it is on digital and it kind of bombed. So if you didn't want to see the movie, I just, I feel like you, you you don't wanna see the movie, you don't care about spoilers that much. If you do care about spoilers, well, I will give a warning when I'm about to spoil something, but I don't know, I'm not gonna spoil too much because I don't care to spoil too much about this movie. I somewhat enjoyed the movie. I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was awful, but I don't really highly recommend it. Things that I like about the movie, some of the same stuff that I like about the first one. I like the family dynamic. I like the chemistry between these characters. I like the way they fit together. I like the way they bounce off of each other. The best character in this movie is Freddy, played by an actor whose name I always forget. I, I forget it for this video too. You guys remember the actor's name, so please help me in the comment section down below. Uh, but the actor who plays Freddy. Freddy was the best character in the first movie. He's the best character in this movie. His charm, his humor, his enthusiasm, his energy. I vibe with all of it. There's also a cute little love story going on in this movie. You can tell that this movie was made with a bigger budget. The action sequences and the visuals are bigger. There's more action. There's better visuals than the first movie. It felt like the action in the first movie was really cheap intentionally because they were trying to keep costs down so that the movie could make a profit. There was just nothing memorable about the action in that movie. There's more memorable stuff about the action in this movie, even while I would still say the action is not great. For the record, Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu playing these villains, I mean, they're made up villains for the movie. They're not really villains from the comic books. Not a huge, like, compliment to them or the movie, but they're trying their best here. Mild spoilers, there is a cameo in this movie that I did appreciate. There's a cameo in this movie I didn't appreciate. The one I did appreciate comes from the one and only Wonder Woman. Yeah, in case you didn't know, Wonder Woman is in this movie. Gal Gadot returns as Wonder Woman. It's always nice to see, like, a shared universe movie where you get a cameo, you get an appearance from another hero in the universe, and I love Gal as Wonder Woman, so it was nice to see her. She shows up at the end, you know, to resurrect Billy. It was a nice scene. I like the fact that they used her theme. Some parts of it felt a little bit awkward and out of place, but at the same time, I'm like, well, this is one of the last appearances for Wonder Woman. I might as well enjoy it. I can't really rise above average when it comes to this movie. For everything that I maybe kind of enjoyed, there's everything that I kind of didn't enjoy about this movie. So it lands right in the middle for me. The villains in this movie, it's not that they're made up or that they're not real villains from the comics. Like, you can have original villains that actually turn out to be interesting characters for a movie. I mean, take Prince Nuada from Hellboy 2, for example. That's not a character character that exists in the Hellboy comics, and yet he was an interesting villain, and I empathized with his plight and his story, and I was invested in that. The, the daughters of Atlas are not really given a lot to work with here. You don't really care about their plan. You don't really give a shit about their motivations. The movie is less interested in making them well-rounded people and more interested in just making them the evil people that are in the way of the heroes and like they're like an obstacle that the movie needs to have. Also, one thing that detracted from this movie for me is that we didn't see enough of Billy and his family in their natural human forms. Like I would say 85 to 90% of this movie is Billy in his Shazam form and the rest of the Shazam family in their Shazam superhero form. And this actually kind of takes away from the emotion, from the intimacy of the family dynamic from the first movie. I feel like it should have been a little bit more balanced. I probably wouldn't feel this way also if Billy and 
and Zachary Levi were on a wavelength in terms of their performance, but similar to the first movie, it feels like it's two different characters completely. Now, I kind of went along with it for the first movie because I'm like, hey, if you're a depressed kid and you found out you could turn into a superhero, you'd probably feel excited when you're in your superhero form. You'd probably act a lot more goofy. I went with it for the first movie. This movie takes place a few years after that movie, and at this point, it's kind of like the novelty of being a superhero should have worn off a little bit at this point. I just feel myself feeling more invested in Asher Angel's performance as Billy Batson because he feels like an actual real person, whereas Zachary Levi, not only do I not really buy his performance as Shazam, but most of his performance is just filled with him being goofy or him being silly or him being immature. And yeah, I get it, Shazam is supposed to be immature. But not to the point that it feels like he's almost like a parody of the actual character of Shazam. And it feels way too much of a contrast between him and Billy to the point that I have to pick and choose between them. Unfortunately, Zachary Levi is on screen a lot more than Asher Angel is. But the story feels incredibly low stakes, even while they raise the stakes. Like it just feels like there's not a lot of tension here. Story and the script is kind of sloppy. There's some stuff that they throw together in this movie that breaks down under the slightest scrutiny. If you think about it too hard, it probably doesn't make that much sense. Either way, Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods was not offensively bad for me, but it's also a movie where I was just kind of like, eh, it's there, it exists. I probably like it about as much as the first one. There are some things I like about it better than the first one, but overall, Fury of the Gods felt like a waste of time for me. I'm gonna leave this one in the Fortress of Solitude. Did you like the movie? Tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Give me your DCEU ranking in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. Stay tuned for more videos, and if you like what you see, tell me how you feel, and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.